Hello friends, we will continue our review of an introduction to software architecture by David Gollan and Mary Shaw. Today we will be going to case studies. They have uh, listed out six case studies. We will review first case study which is very very interesting. let's directly go to the f case studies so first case study is a uh, keyword in context uh, this case study is very very popular in system uh, system designing courses uh, this uh, proper problem is used to find out what are the different architectures what are their benefits what are their drawbacks so let's what's the problem statement uh, keyword in context the keyword in context index system accepts an ordered uh, set of lines each line is an ordered set of words and each word is an ordered set of characters any line may be circularly circularly shifted by repeatedly removing the first word and appending it at the end of the line the quick index system outputs a listing of all circular shifts of all lines in alphabetical order we have a nice flash example to see what this means. Let's uh, see that flash example. So, so let's see what is, is his example of Quick system. You have been given three lines, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, The Return of the Jedi. Let's see how the Quick system will work. Star Wars and it appended the star to the last word then next line then it back came the first strike came first empire came first and rest of the line is moved to the rest jedi came first the jedi came first of the jedi came first and let's see what happens next so this is the final output you have So this is how the quick system works. So let's go to the different implementation. Uh, so basically this was Panas used this problem to came up two solutions and these two, two solutions were modified by Garland, Kayser and Notkin to give more examples. So what are the, uh, what are the architecture concerns? Uh, how the changes in the processes or logarithm affects the rest of the system how the changes in the data representation affect the rest of the system uh, enhancement to the system functions uh, uh, that a and and should be removed performance how this solution use space and time and to what extent these uh, components can be used so first, uh, first they gave example using the standard main program subroutine with shared data. So the program was divided into input, circular shift, alpha, alphabetizer, output. So here each module is uh, accessing the data directly, characters. So we can see the benefit of this approach is the regular routine, subroutines, uh, which is based on more a logarithm a logarithm finding common a logarithm approach procedure based approach the problem is if uh, something changes here uh, some changes something changes in the data all the programs it will affect all the programs and uh, since they are so tightly coupled to each other it's difficult uh, this these uh, components are difficult to reuse then they went to more object oriented approach where data was abstracted you were using more interface so here we have input output and master control but the data is represented by interfaces you have set car car word circular sheet is set up set car car word and alphabetic shifts uh, is also inter inter represented by the interfaces 
so the benefit of this approach is uh, uh, it's a uh, data data is abstracted changes in data doesn't change the system and uh, it's a better uh, let's see advantages when changes are considered the, that's what the data and the algorithm can be changed in the input modules without affecting the other uh, however reuse is better supported than is better supported than in the first solution because modules make more fewer assumptions about each other they interact interact and the problem is that to add new system the implementer must modify the existing modules compromise their simplicity and integrity or add new modules uh, lead to performance penalties so third is the event based architecture we are uh, we are like uh, something whenever something happens the data data calls the routines so some whenever line was inserted it called the circular shape which called the alpha alphabetizer so uh, the benefit is additional modules can be added by the system by resisting them to be invoked on the data changing events uh, subscriber publisher or uh, de design pattern because data is accessed ab abstractly is also in solute changes from the data representation if data changes if data changes the program doesn't have to change because it's represented by uh, these interfaces and uh, which uh, data state change calls the modules uh, that's a uh, but are the problems the problems are invocations are data driven uh, so it tends to take more space than the previously considered decomposition and uh, since uh, one data is calling another event other event is calling other event is difficult to control the order of processing of the implicitly implicitly invoked modules then comes our pipe and filter architecture so here uh, uh, input is a filter circular shift is built to filter and data is moving through the pipe so we can see this system is very very intuitive uh you can add filters very very extended and the problems we know uh, if i have implement um, i have put one more pipe and filter video the problem is uh, this kind of systems uh, tend to take uh, uh, more space because they could be they have to process the data over and over they are not very suited for the interactive interactive uh, processing they are there could be so like uh, i have used a pipe i have seen pipe and filter architecture being used in etl so one million records all filter has to go through again one million filter records so nicely they have uh, lastly they have given a rise, nice summary so they have created a matrix so the shared memory approach the first approach uh, which was based on process logarithm to use more subroutine traditional sub subroutine then uh, second one more abstract data type object oriented type event driven and uh, pipe and flow so how they react to log change in a logarithm event when the logarithm change event driven design and pipe and filter is very suited towards that kind of architecture change change in data representation that abstract data type is the best because it abstract the provides the interfaces to the data change in function change in function is subroutine subroutines are more geared add has problem of performance uh, event events also you can register multiple components uh, and uh, in pipe and filter you can add just an, an, add another pipe and filter performance wise of uh, the shared memory is very good and uh, so memory uh, like uh, it reminds me when a, when uh, c a lot of shift happened from c to c++ the c++ applications were generally 20% slower than pure c but uh, 
the shift happened because it was so easy to maintain C++ because it was based on object oriented programming and pipe and filter they have extra processing same about events they they tend to use use more reuse and uh, which one is good for reuse object oriented uh, is very good for reuse and pipe and filter is filters are generally don't in some they are independent of each other filter so they are very easy to reuse thanks for watching this video my name is vikas kerni i have more than 20 years of experience in it industry do subscribe to my channel for your regular updates.